Thank you for tuning in. My name is Eric Rivera. This review is going to be on the AP 44mm Rose Gold in Camel. Now I have previously done a video on the stainless steel version of this watch with that cream colored dial, which I wasn't that much of a fan of, but I was kind of shocked that AP had actually introduced that watch. And I had said even in that video that the rose gold version did seem a lot more appealing. And now that I actually have it in my hand, it so does. It's just the play that they used with the whole chocolate bezel and the chocolate dial plays great with the camel strap. You see, the other one that I had done the review on kind of felt more like, kind of like a regular AP with just some type of an aftermarket strap. Whereas this particular version, I think looks perfect with the camel strap. Has a retail price of 43,900. It has been going over retail, even though some people have had it for sale as high as 60,000. I just don't see the market on that yet. I think the prices have simmered down and I think they're gonna be maybe just a little bit over retail. It's a limited edition to 500 pieces, which can either A, help or hurt it. You know, nowadays in today's market, it's a little bit tough with these limited edition pieces because I feel like there's a lot of limited edition pieces. But nevertheless, it is a very good looking watch and overall, I like the play that they did with the camel. The watch can also be used with the chocolate colored strap and it's non-camel, but I think that the whole, the whole kick about this watch is to have it camouflage. I just feel like it's the best looking one. They came out in this series with a couple other variations. They came out with the first one that I did the video on. They came out with a green one and a blue one. The blue one I've seen it in person and it's hot. It's got that blue ceramic bezel with the blue camel and I think maybe that might be one of my favorite ones right after the chocolate. Overall, it's a standard 44 millimeter offshore, same exact layout and design, there's nothing different. The only thing different is the combination of the dial. The ceramic is brown and the camouflage rubber, which for one, I think is one of the nicest looking camouflage combinations I've ever seen in a vulcanized rubber. AP does not play any games. Everything they do, they do it well. And this strap, the way that the colors are laid out and they flow are perfect. It almost looks like the colors emerge into each other as opposed to being an outline of different colors or color applied on top of color. It's almost as if you cut the strap, you can see the difference of colors within. That's the impression it gives at least where it feels in your hand and you look at it in person. What will happen with this watch in the future? I don't know. One thing that I do like about this camouflage watch is that it's not tied to any specific person, name, or entity. It's just a camouflage watch, which right now is in fashion and is in trend. So I kind of would take that right now at this point as opposed to a dedication to a person. There's many watches nowadays that are dedicated to a person, and you know, I don't know what to say. There's just a lot of them, you know? So just the fact that it's camel and it's fucking rare, I think that's a pretty cool thing, makes it a little bit more unique. I like it. Will I buy one for myself? I don't know, we'll have to see what happens with the prices. I mean, I like it, but I don't love it yet. So pretty much in the camel lineup, I'm gonna go ahead and take the chocolate and the blue as my favorite. Either one of them are heavy pieces in the watch game right now. I mean, you really don't see a lot of them, let's just be honest. I've never seen one of these chocolate ones in the wild. It's just not something you see a lot, you know? I wouldn't have it as my primary 44 millimeter rose gold, but definitely as a second. I would like to see this variation though done in 42 millimeter, or maybe they want to dare out and do a 41 millimeter rose gold with the rubber strap. I mean, I think it's about time they give us a Royal Oak Chrono from factory rubber strap in gold. I mean, why not? I mean, yes, you can go and buy the strap, but you know what I mean, something special, like this. So leave me a comment below and tell me which one of these camel combinations do you like best. And don't forget to hit the notifications bell till it looks like this. And if you like this video, please like and share. Also, subscribe to our channel. And thank you for watching.